Welcome back to Just Scrap and Stamp. Today I'm going to be showing you a very easy water colouring technique um, using a spray bottle of water and an acrylic block. I really like the effect that a braided background, that braided sky background gives you, but I've not had very much success with that technique so I thought I would try something different. So to start with we're just using a basic acrylic block that you use to mount your unmounted stamps on. I'm just using some stamping up ink pads today but any dye based ink will work with this technique um, you can't use a pigment based ink so all we're going to do is drag some colour along our acrylic block starting off with Kiwi Kiss which is a greeny colour then I'm going to use a mustard colour and just drag it across the block so you've got a uniform line of colour. And then I'm going to use a rust on this end. So you can see there the three dimensions of colour. So we're using some watercolour paper for this effect. Normal cardstock won't give you a very good effect because it doesn't absorb the water that we spray onto the ink here. So we're going to give it a really good coat of water. Just spray the block evenly till you've got a very wet surface. Then just simply turn your block over and lay onto your watercolour paper. You'll see when you lay the watercolour paper on, the block onto the paper, that the ink spreads out across the paper. Um, if you haven't got enough water on it, the, water, the ink won't spread under the block. And then just carefully lift the block off. Now I've missed the edges off there so to fix that I can just very carefully put the block back on and gently move it side to side to spread the ink over the edge again. Oops. I'll just drag some of the excess off that end. And just work your ink around until you've got all of your paper covered. If you don't quite get it on there the first time, keep trying. I haven't got that edge covered there so I'm just going to trim that off. You can see over here I've got some lines on my paper. So to get rid of that we can just give it a fine mist of water and that will disperse the colour a little bit as well. Now to speed up the drying time you can use your heat tool because the paper is quite wet. So we'll just very quickly use our heat tool to absorb all the water into the paper. You see it curling up there and as it dries it will flatten back out again. Now I'm just going to trim the edge off there that I've missed the colour from. Now to give it a little bit of added dimension I'm just going to use the darker orange rust pad and use the direct to paper technique and just rub some ink onto the edges of the cardstock. You don't have to be too precise because you do actually want a little bit of colour rub onto the edges like so. Then once again we're going to take our mister bottle and just mist over those edges just so that that ink blends into the colouring as well. So we'll just heat that up with our heat tool again and dry that out. If you don't have a heat tool you can put it in front of the little heater or just let it dry on its own. But I'm a bit impatient, I like things to happen straight away. right on the back where the water is pulled and gone under the edge. So you can see there we've got a nice watercolour effect on our paper. So to use that in a project, <coughs> just roll this over. 
you can use it with a stamp a silhouette stamp looks particularly nice with this sort of effect um, so I've got a stamp out of the Stampin' Up Upsy Daisy set I'm just going to use some brown ink the chocolate chip and put a good coverage on the stamp and stamp that onto the paper just make sure you give it a good press because the watercolour paper is textured the image doesn't stamp very clearly so you need to make sure you've pressed fairly firmly on there so you can see there we've got the nice little silhouetted image there then we can stamp a sentiment onto it that set's got a couple of nice ones we might use the birthday one I think and just once again in the brown ink that up and we're just going to pop that up in the corner I've got little birthday celebrations there. Now in a just mounted one I've done earlier on some coordinating cardstock and mounted it up on some foam so that it's got a bit of dimension with it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Try it out with lots of different colours. I've tried some blue as well. And it looks nice in all the same colour as I've done with the green and the orange. Thank you for watching. Bye.